Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and today I'm going to present you this beauty dish by Westcott, the Manny Ortiz beauty dish. And for this, not just speaking about it, I'm going to make a photo shoot with Karen. Here she is. Maybe you know her. I presented her in a video about an anamorphic lens. And today we're going to make uh, three uh, area. First, a bed to show tattoos and the way to light with the the Mani Ortiz Beauty Dish. Second, in the shower with the blue gel, uh, no nude, uh, bikini, everything to be shown on YouTube, obviously. And also after, if we have time, on the street, not in bikini, but with a dress, okay? We'll go on the street and make some more pictures, okay? If I cut this part because we didn't have time, okay? So let's start, let's start, yes. yes. Okay, so here's the beauty dish. There are uh, two types, the one with the white inside and the silver version. This one is the white version. As you can see here, the small plate, metal plate, that give a special uh, spill of the light that uh, it gives this uh, beauty dish look. You can use it with or without. You can also use a diffusion uh, fabric in the front, okay? I'm going to use it just like this, with no fabric uh, with this, with a small plate and uh, this way, so it's a bit more uh, light, a bit contrasty, okay? And I'm using it with the FJ400, actually reviewed a few months ago, well, last year, I can't remember. Here's the link, okay? So, let's try it. Before showing you more of the uh, photo shoot, well, was already done okay uh, that, that's a secret between you and me okay so but I want to tell you more things what do you get with this uh, money or uh, beauty dish by Westcott okay a bag in there you will find different things one is this plate that you can use or not depends if you want okay uh, deflate the plate okay then you have the beauty dish itself Okay, you can change the mount. Okay, depends on the flash you have. Okay, this is for my FJ400. Uh, this is a Bowen S mount type, but they have other mounts. So if you wanted to buy it, just indicate uh, the flash you have so to have the right mount. Okay, and here you have a linen I did not use that you can put in the front. Okay, so this uh, modifier, this beauty dish exists in two type, the white version and the silver version. This is the white version. This summer, actually, I made a review of several uh, Westcott uh, uh, softboxes and uh, I tested the silver version, okay? This is really easy to mount. I'm going to place it directly on the flash, okay? And then you just open here and you push in there and that's it. Okay, that's mounted. I didn't put the plate or this, but you see how easy it is, okay? So I've placed the plate. It's here, you have to uh, close the softbox, pass the plate behind the, uh, the rods here and put it on uh, the tube and then open it again, okay? Not everyone has been in the shower with Karen. Uh, I'm not, I'm more worried about my gear than about her, honestly, if it gets wet, okay? And here I've used a flexi gel on the uh, FJ400. I got a blue one, this is a red one, okay? They have several colors. And you place it over the uh, glass dome of the flash, so it gives a tint, a color, okay? And here I've got the FJ80 and I've put a red gel. The idea is to make like a color sandwich around her. I hope it will work, otherwise I'm going to get fired. Okay, so I hope it's going to be okay. Karen is a typical blonde girl dyed in dark hair. I'm joking, she's actually dark hair, okay? But she said, yeah, but I would like to have this blue that is stronger blue or this. He says, yeah, but the idea is a beauty dish and that feels more light here. Well, she's a nice girl. I 
just uh, and as an extra bonus the FJ200 here with the small uh, ball here and a blue gel to give a harsh light but a lot more blue okay <laughs> Well, here not the best way to record, okay, but uh, we're on the street, we are in a rush, okay, because it's cold and uh, it's late. So uh, a few pictures this way, okay, and here I've got the beauty dish with the LJ200. So some technical specs, uh, the diameter is 36 inches, which is 91 centimeter, well, 90 centimeter uh, category, I would say, okay. Uh, different mounts, okay. It exists in white and silver, as I said before, it weights 1.6 kilos. Uh, the silver version is a bit lighter, like 100 gram less, because I think the, the, the coating inside is different, it's lighter, okay. Uh, many people think we're just mad, we're just crazy when we see a difference where they don't see it or we feel we need this difference between one setting or different one, uh, one another, okay? That's normal. You're not used to it and maybe you don't see the difference uh, measuring, you don't see much difference because it's really good quality, bottle to bottle, really nice. When you actually check, uh, if you ch check the review I made of uh, the different uh, Westcott soft, uh, soft boxes, you'll see that the contrast is different depending on what you use. If you put the linen, if you put the small plate, all this. Uh, the transition in the shadows will be the same uh, if you don't move the distance and uh, anything else, but you will see that the contrast is different and that's really useful. What I really love about this beauty dish is because it's not a beauty dish, it's more than a beauty dish, okay? Uh, most beauty dishes are smaller, around 24 inches per hour, even sometimes smaller, okay? And light is more concentrated in the center, I think, and it's more like poof, like this, okay? And you just use that for that. You just use it for, for, for beauty dish most of the time, so for beauty and uh, that kind of uh, portrait shot, okay? What I love about this one is because it's larger than the typical beauty dish, you have more options, uh, the way you can uh, use it, and that means that actually it's more versatile. I could use it as a beauty dish, as a normal softbox, normal, uh, well, as a softbox, okay? And the fact that it's a bit larger, I can also do a half body uh, shot or full body shot, uh, take into account that a, a softbox, whatever softbox, uh, the, uh, the harshness of the shadows is uh, start to be really bad uh, when you get, well, start to, to decrease when you get to uh, twice the diameter of the softbox, okay? So this is 90 centimeter up to one, uh, one meter, meter 80, which is uh, six feet, that would be fine, okay? After you get a bit harsher shadows, okay? So if you want to have a full body shot, maybe you put it a bit further, you accept that the shadows are a bit harsher, but well, that's still acceptable. Yeah, that's still possible. But it means you have a lot of versatility. I understand why uh, Manny Ortiz is so proud of his creation, saying it's probably his best creation and it, this is what he uses most, okay? I understand it because when you have just a typical small beauty dish, you're more limited. And when you have a normal softbox, you don't have this possibility that have this uh, more contrasty look of the beauty dish, okay? So I think it's great, it's really versatile. You can really use it in many situations. Uh, I like to have larger soft boxes, but on the street, very often it's not possible because of wind, because of people, because of people having to, to hold the soft box because you maybe, maybe you cannot put it on with a stand on the floor, depends on the, on the law where you, you, you are, okay? But still, I think this is really versatile. Take into account that it also exists a uh, grid for it, a 40 degrees uh, grid. So you have a really complete tool for so many things. So this is why I think this is a great tool because uh, yes, you can do many different things, many different aspects of light with just one tool. So you save money, okay? But yes, I really love it, really love it. Great uh, for what I did, how I used it, okay?
Honestly, I didn't expect it to be so good, okay? I knew it was good because I tested the silver version uh, of Arturo Maceda this summer, but on a manic, on a, on, on a, I call that a, a steel manneki, I don't know how you call that, okay? And uh, I didn't know how it would be to use it with a model, move it, and all this. I just love it. It's fantastic, okay? Uh, the versatility of it is really good. Although I used it as a beauty dish, didn't put the linen in front because I wanted to see the beauty dish effect, okay? And the aspect of light is just brilliant. I just love it. One thing that is really important, uh, when we speak about softbox, this one or any softbox, we should check the uh, aspect of light, obviously, if it's good, if it's even, how it is, okay? But many people, when they check soft boxes, or quality soft boxes like this one, the first thing they say is, oh, it's a bit pricey. I, wow, how come it's so expensive? Uh, I checked it in AliExpress and uh, there was one for 50 euros and the same size. Uh, wait, wait one second. Okay, check this. The design, the way it's sued, the quality of the material, all this. That has a cost, okay? So I know how uh, soft boxes that cost 50 euros go. When I do workshop with uh, many uh, uh, people uh, who are there, okay, like 15 people, I very often use a really simple uh, umbrella octobox that costs like 25 uh, euros a piece, okay? And because I can get, uh, it's on the street, people can steal it from me or whatever, okay? And uh, they normally last like two, three workshops. And that's it, they're over, okay? When you look at this quality, that's another story, okay? It's really, really good. So I could use that, that's, that's pricey to do a workshop, but yeah, I wish I could, okay? Uh, but honestly, you understand the quality, okay? But it's not just the build quality, it's also the light quality, okay? Uh, actually, uh, normally, if a really cheap softbox uh, they spent not much on building it, on uh, sewing it, on sticking it, or whatever. Normally, they didn't uh, pay much in development. How the how light is traveling inside all this. Normally, the light quality won't be uh, very good. Okay, and uh, uh, you will see that normally in the center you have like one stop or more of light than on the border. All this. So, I know these soft boxes because I have some of them. Okay, so honestly. When you look at this, this is brilliant. I know this one just arrived, okay? You could say, yeah, but you don't know how it will be in two years time. Yeah, but I've got other soft boxes by Westcott. And I know they're after two years time, okay? So honestly, this is a great purchase, a great idea uh, if you look for uh, versatility, for uh, an all-in-one, I would say, soft box that can do m many things. That's a great option. So for me, it's completely recommendable. So for me, it was great to be able to test it with a real person, Karen, that posed. And that was great because I could see how to manage it, see the effect on her skin, on real skin, not plastic, all this. And this is just brilliant. I just love it, okay? So thank you so much, Karen, for posing. Thank you so much, uh, Westcott, for sending it. If you're interested in getting it, I'll leave you links in the description on where you can buy it. Thank you, Manny Ortiz, for the design. Thank you. Or oh, speaking with Westcott, I don't know, you work together, but the result is here. So thank you to both of you, okay? Thank you so much to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The small button down here is a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericjibo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. I'll also leave you links of Maggie on Amazon, links of everything I reviewed by Kev Concepts and Mark and Flashes by Westcott, more affiliated links, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.